guys, it's Mask Monday and today I'm going to do some new masks I think. Well, one new mask and one, I'm going to keep going with that eye mask. But I have picked up from Beauty Pie an oxygen mask which I think might be really quite nice. My skin at the moment is really rubbish. I've got spots coming up, I'm quite sort of dragged down. But I am on antibiotics um, and I think that they quite often knock your skin for six, don't they? So anyway, I'm going to soothe and pamper with oxygen. I was going to do a clay one again because I was so impressed with last week's. But I thought, mm, you know, skin a bit fragile, maybe not. So first off with my mud masky. I'm going to try and pat it on i'm a schmearer but one of the girls pointed out that i should be patting it on so so i'm patting i mean i think they were absolutely right i should have been patting from the beginning but i'm just so lazy with treatments um my daughter put me to shame on the weekend. She was telling me all the different things she's doing. Her skin's looking fabulous at the moment. And I said to her, well, you look great, you know, as you do. And she said, yeah, well, I do this and I do that. And I, do that. I thought, oh my goodness me, I did a fraction of that. But anyway, so yeah, this is Beauty Pie Oxygen Instant Facial Refueling Mask. Definitely feel like a bit of refueling could be needed here. I know you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off with warm water. 10 minutes later, I got the little silver cap off. <laughs> so let's have a look at this. Oh, it smells nice. It's sort of a light green in colour. Smells really fresh and kind of fruity. Feels lovely, actually. Or smells lovely, I should say. I don't know what it feels like really yet. But I don't know how this aids oxygen or any of those sorts of things. Um, any more than any of the face masks that I use, they all promise things, don't they? And they say they're doing the most amazing things for your skin. But who knows if they are or they aren't. So, there we go. But it does feel, this feels nice on. This does feel nice. Um, I think that's probably enough, isn't it? Yeah, my skin's really blotchy at the moment. Okay, so there we go. Eye mask and face mask. No, some avoiding sheet masks at the moment. They will come back because I have some. But, um, oops. But I'm kind of avoiding them at the moment. <laughs> now, there's a few things I want to do today. One of them is I'm going to draw my winner, obviously, of my over a thousand. But there's a couple of other things that I wanted to say as well. A few shout outs. Um, there is a really lovely lady who I won't name <laughs> who emailed me. I finally got my courage up and went into my emails over the last couple of days. I um, haven't been able to reply to any of them yet. It was so, so busy. But after just not going into my email um, account for a couple of weeks, just to, you know, just to... And I thought maybe if... I don't know whether people can see whether you've read the email or not. I don't know any of that. So I just thought, you know what? Shut it down. Ignore it. I'm busy. I've got lots going on. Um, if you don't see the nasty, you can't feel the nasty. So anyway, I finally, this last week or so, I've started to go back in and I've been picking out people. And so anyway, there's a shout out to a lady who contacted me with really, really lovely uh, email telling me about a book. Now, I don't want to name the book or the lazy or the anything without her permission, but I have been reading that book. Um, I'm loving it so if she watches I mean I will email you anyway but um please let me know if I'm allowed to talk about that book so many others of you have written as well and said lovely things and have made me feel so good so I am gonna my daughter's finally gone I did quite a bit of crying yesterday isn't that pathetic anyway I can pull things back together so I'm gonna sit down and sort of reply um, to all your emails because some of you are so wonderful. I don't want to name you without having permission to name you if you know what I mean because I feel like the emails are kind of private um, and unless somebody puts on there I don't mind if you disclose this then I, I would rather keep them private but I don't want people to think that I'm not reading them because I am. So you know who you are who write to me and you're wonderful and I will be replying and thank you for everything that you say and have said. 
so many of you um, enjoyed my last Mass Monday and commented so that the draw this Mass Monday for, for my over thousand um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, there's a lot of competition in this one so it's quite exciting. So here we go, let's do it. Um, I've already put in the uh, URL of the video um, and I've put in the word sniff because of course sniff sniff was the thing uh, but some people just put sniff so I'd rather just do sniff than sniff sniff if you know what I mean um, <laughs> which raised uh, 48 individual comments it's on here I love the fact that this does it for me so I can't make mistakes and it is totally fair so here we go that's just can I make that a little bit bigger okay and I'm going to start it's flashing through everyone's names and I think it's settled on one and it has Celine Fernandez oh Celine Celine Fernandez you're the winner of my 1000 giveaway so you know my email address and I will be looking out for it um, I'll also um, add it in the box underneath this video um, but Celine Fernandez she said you are absolutely not boring my English is not good enough for me to explain the effect you have on people oh you're so lovely you're warm and welcoming yeah you make people at ease um, I'm not going to read it all um, I am home since March 2020 because of COVID as I have health issues almost never getting out and you're a break from my loneliness don't mind the haters and please do not give up thank you and congratulations sniff sniff thank you so much Celine it's so nice when it comes up with someone. I think it must be biased, this thing. I think somehow it must know the ladies that are regulars and um, that do comment, you know, often. Because so far, I've never had one where I thought, hmm, who's that? And yet there are people who are subscribed and I don't really know them at all. So if their name came up, I'd be like, oh, okay. Um, but no, that's lovely. So Celine, you're the winner of my 1000 very special giveaway. Now, talking of being 1,000, you may have noticed I now have ads on some of my videos, if not all. I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> I'm not sure whether I like it, okay? Oh, gosh, sorry, guys. This is making me itch a little bit. Hang on. Let me just... Oh, I've got two itchy patches. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure about the adverts. There's a part of me that says, look, I'm a tiny channel. Um, I'm never going to earn a lot of money from this, so it's certainly not. And the little bit that I do earn, it can help with some of the, the boxes I do and things like that. So one part of me says, yeah, do it. You know, if you get 20 quid in a month, it's one of your boxes. But I don't know how much it takes away from the enjoyment of watching the channel. So I want your opinions, really, I guess is what I'm saying. Do the... Do the adverts bother you? Um, have I got them right? I mean, oh God, I, you know, I'm so untechy. So when it said, do this, do that, why I did it was because you get um, access to um, like help groups. There's like a support group once you're past a thousand, but you've got to be a partner. I think it's a partner, they call it, to access those. And I want to learn some more things about like how to do side by side videos and things like that. Um, so I did it, but now I'm sort of wondering. Now I can take the others off, I think. I must be able to, mustn't I? <laughs> There's about eight different boxes. When it says, you know, the advertising, it's like eight different boxes and there are videos that people can't skip whether they want to or not and, and all sorts of things. I know I've, I've said no, no, no to that one, but I'm not sure about the other ones. So anyway, let me know what you think. Does it spoil it? Because I'm not doing this to make money, but you know, people said to me, well, it would help if you were getting a little bit of something towards some of the boxes that you do. And I thought, well, I'll try it because I'm still a little channel and I feel very close to you guys. I feel I can ask you. I can run it for a, a week. I think it's been running now for about, I want to say four days, five days. Not sure. But I can run it. You guys can look at it. You can come back to me and say, no, nah, they're, they're awful or I don't mind this one and this one, but could you get rid of this or... I need your help as usual, guys. <laughs> oh my God, when are you ever gonna come on my channel and I'm not gonna be saying, guys, guys, tell me what to do, tell me what to do. But um, 
yeah so I thought I'd try it but if you know it's a universal then I'm going to get rid of it because it's not worth it to me um <clears throat> so yes yeah, so you've got to let me know about that one as well um what else did I have to talk about it's as foggy as heck here today um but it's warm it's gone from yesterday it was minus four outside with ice everywhere and causing us great problems to 11 degrees this morning I mean, I can't get my head around that. How can that change quite so quickly? But I'm hoping that that means we're beginning to start the thaw and we will start to zoom. <laughs> I knew there was a word. Zoom towards um, spring, which is just, I mean, who doesn't want spring to come along? Um, although it did mean that last night I was so hot in the night I didn't know what to do with myself I was under the covers out of the covers under the covers out of the covers you guys like that I mean I'm post menopause by a long long way now it's um oh I'm not even sure something like five years I'm not entirely sure Nick would probably know better than me my awful um so in theory I shouldn't be having hot flushes or flashes as some people call them but I do still get them so um yeah, I think the bedding's going to have to be rearranged. But isn't it nice to see that things are beginning to thaw and we're beginning to head towards um, spring. There are buds up everywhere and snowdrops and so on. Now, I've had this goofy mask on for a good 15, 20 minutes now. So I'm going to go and wash it off and I shall be back. Possibly I didn't put enough of that mask on or possibly I put too much on. But it was quite itchy. Um, I'm just going to put my glasses on and read the small print and see if I can see why. Because um, it's probably my mistake, but um, apply a fine layer. So possibly I put too much on. Allow it to absorb for 15 to 20 minutes or longer. Use a damp, blah, blah, blah. You can even leave it on overnight. Oh, I couldn't. I'd be itching. Um, use once to twice weekly. So yeah, possibly I've put a bit much on. Maybe in areas there was a little bit too much. And the reaction so I'll have to try it again because it wasn't horrible don't get me wrong it wasn't horrible but I did itch on my nose and by here and just a little bit of you know general anyway you guys very sweetly reminded me in fact let me see who it was Wheaton Beauty who's one of my subscribers um, and a great gal reminded me thankfully to bring this up because if you watched my video yesterday this came in my cohorted box and it's the perfecting tint spf 15 medium now i need to see if i'm allowed to put any serums on first which i presume i am but let me just quickly check whether it says um mineral every morning after cleansing and toning so nothing there to say that i can't so i'm just going to miss my face because it feels a bit dry um and i've got my beautiful murad hydration uh, prebiotic three-in-one multi mist I'm really enjoying this one guys um, I have ordered a couple more of different varieties to try when this runs out oh and in big news guess what my Lakiro box has arrived so I will be doing that either later today or tomorrow I can't believe it when I saw it I was like what so oh yes yeah, sorry <laughs> I was really excited let's just leave it at that um, I'm going to use a little bit of the eye gel that came with the Monu uh, eye cool gel uh, Monu skin I checked the prices you know and those prices were absolutely bang on so you know me being my snidey RRP person um, I wasn't being honest so I'm not being honest I was being judgmental without my facts but I did go and check. Wasn't it funny that perfume being £190? <laughs> I mean, it was lovely, but £190 for a bottle of perfume. It's just not going to happen. Not in this house anyway. Um, there we go. I've put the eye cool gel on and I've patted, patted, patted. Look at these nails. Aren't they still going so well? can't believe that these one pound press on nails are doing so well so that's the eye gel gone on um and i've misted my skin with a prebiotic so i'm going to go in with the moisturizer so i'm presuming you've got to shake it i shake everything do you um and then i'm gonna 
Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, it's quite dark. See that? Yeah, it's quite dark, but let's see how it goes, shall we? Oh. Well, it feels like a moisturiser. Smells like makeup. Well, it's just got plenty on. Let the dog see the rabbit, as they say. Uh, I know the coverage is meant to be light. Um, this is a medium tone, but light tinted moisturiser coverage. And I'm supposed, really, I'm not the best subject for this today with my, my breakout and so on, but I did say I'd do it. It feels like it's drying back, which I'm surprised at. Let's just see. Like a little, little bit more. Yeah, literally, just a tiny bit more. And I'll just try and layer up a little bit here where I've got this really bad breakout. And around the nose where I go a bit red. My brother put a picture up on Facebook for Valentine's Day. Pulling those god awful face. He'd obviously just woken up and he said something like how lucky his wife was to have met as handsome a creature as him. And we were all laughing about it. But then I looked at it again, you know, and he looked so like my dad. Now, not that my dad was ugly or pulled funny faces or anything like that. But my brother, generally, we don't think of him as looking like my father. He's blonde and blue eyed. My dad was dark haired, hazel eyes like me. I'm very much his side of the family, the body shape and so on. Whereas my brother isn't so much. But in this picture... It just looked, my, looked so much, he'd caught my dad, the expression or something, of my dad goofing off. Um, and it was just really, really weird. Anyway, sorry, jumping subjects again. It's quite thicker than a foundation, but lighter than a foundation is what I would say. Do you know... I don't know, you guys are gonna have to tell me, but I'm quite impressed. I do feel, as I say, I have to ignore that, it's a breakout. But on the rest of my skin, where I haven't broken out, if you will, I do think it's smooth, it's tinted, it's given a bit of colour to my face, would you say? I'm gonna put a little bit of lippy on, girls, because I can't ever judge myself without some lippy on. Uh, I'll use this one. It's my favourite. I use it all the time. So much so I've got about three of them. But I'll just put a bit of lippy on because I'm so focused on the fact that I look a bit meh because I've no lippy on that I can't really judge properly. There we go. Just a bit of colour. So let's just see now. Do you know it's not bad? What do you think? I think that's pretty darn good for a day when... I don't want to wear makeup where this would be it you know I, I put on my moisturizer which happens to have this tint in it and a bit of something on my lips you know a tint, tinted lip balm or something would probably be better I don't think that's too bad I'm reasonably impressed with that but guys you're gonna have to tell me but I do think that's worked hasn't it and I'll let you know how it wears it has sunk in it is a little tacky but not a lot it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like makeup it doesn't feel like there's foundation on my skin but equally it doesn't feel like it's just moisturizer so there's it is sitting somewhere between the two um i think it might be quite good <laughs> anyway here we go. I love it when I take my thingy off. This is when I look at my absolute, look at that, at my absolute best. Anyway, that was it. That was last Monday. It was one of my big long rambles as always, but we have a winner in Celine. Please let me know ladies about your emails, whether I'm allowed to sort of refer generally, I wouldn't put anything personal or anything like that. Let me know about the book. Um, and let me tell you, I think you're all amazing. Let me know about this as well. 
and um and i'll see you really really soon that's it from me for now <laughs> and i'll be back soon bye guys